Hello again, this is Tim Rudin, a professor and author of Statistics in Plain English. And in this lesson, we're going to be talking about z-scores, also known as standard scores. And what a z-score tells you is how far an individual score is from a mean, either a sample mean or a population mean, in standard deviation units. So I've written the formulas. This is the formula for calculating a z-score when you have a sample, and this is the calculation calculation of a z-score when you have population data. And you can see they're pretty much the same. On the top you've got the difference between the individual score and the mean, the individual score and the mean, and on the bottom you've got the standard deviation for the sample and for the population. So what you get is a difference between an individual score and the mean divided by the standard deviation, so converted into standard deviation units. So let's take a look and see how this works. Um, let's suppose that you and a friend are both taking statistics at the same time, but you're in different classes. And you each take a test, and uh, you want to compare your results on the test. So let's say that you get a score of 55. and that the average score in your class was 50 and the standard deviation is 5. Now let's say that your friend gets a score of 75 and the average score in your friend's class was, uh, let's say, 70. And the standard deviation in your friend's class was 10. So a couple things to note. First, your friend got a much higher score than you, so your friend might be you know, looking to brag a little bit and say, ha, you got 55, I got 75. But compared to the mean, you and your friends have the same score just in terms of distance from the mean. Your score was five points above the mean for your class. Your friend's score was five points above the mean for your friend's class. Now, which one is further from the mean in standard deviation units? Let's calculate the two z-scores. So for you, The z-score for you, y is for you, is your score minus the mean divided by the standard deviation in your sample. So you got a z-score of 1. <clears throat> now let's calculate your friend's z-score. Your friend's score is uh, got a z-score of 0.5, or 1 half. So let's wrap words around these, these results. What do they tell you? Your score was one standard deviation above the mean for your class. Your friend's score was half a standard deviation above the mean for your friend's class. So in terms of your scores in relation to the mean for your classes, yours was actually half a standard deviation better than your friend's was which you can then go and rub in your friend's face. Um, it doesn't answer other questions like, which test was harder? If you got a score that was above the average uh, for your class, one standard deviation above the average for your class, you did really well relative to the rest of your class. But if the rest of your class are you know, not so smart, then that's not really anything to brag about. If your friend's in a harder class where people got you know, higher scores because they're a lot smarter, a half a standard deviation above the mean might actually be better than your score was because the test might have been harder or the students in that class might have been smarter. You don't know those things, but what you do know 
is your score was one standard deviation above the mean for your class, your friend's score was only half a standard deviation above the mean for your friend's class. And that's what the z-score tells you. How far above the mean or below the mean is an individual score from the sample mean or from the population mean.